It is a very unique facility. There's really no place like it in the world. There are other APT facilities, accelerated testing facilities in the U.S., but we're the only one that actually uses real trucks with, with human drivers on a, on a closed loop like this. We're most encouraged about that 10 million miles from a safety aspect. We've done those with uh, a minimal amount of accidents and uh, we put our safety record up against anybody. Miles are what uh, you know the driving public or the average, uh, the average Joe would understand. But from an engineering perspective, we look at something called easels, an equivalent single axle load. And that's a way of comparing traffic loads on an apples to apples sort of, sort of way. So to put it in perspective, it would take about 100,000 passenger cars uh, just, you know, your regular sedan or your regular SUV to do the damage that one class A tractor trailer does to our pavements, to our highway infrastructure. And we're, we're heavier than that. We're actually double the legal limit you'd see out there on the, on the open road. So we can apply damage very, very quickly. That's how we can put an entire, you know, 15 to 20 years worth of damage into a 24 month fleet cycle. You can't do some of this research out on the open infrastructure. The problem with the high risk, high reward out in the sort of the open infrastructure in the real world is if it blows out on you six months down, uh, you're gonna have people that are upset. Uh, you just built this road, why, why is it all of a sudden you know, failing again? But they can do that here uh, and, and nobody's inconvenienced. The things we do here actually you know, change how DOTs how they make our roads and so the driving public sees the benefit and uh, our funding partners see the benefit and uh, you can you can see the results out on the real roads that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm.